Hello everyone, today we would talk about a topic entitled stress and health. Let's have some introduction about stress. Stress is physiological and psychological response to a condition that threatens or challenges a person and requires some form of adaptation and adjustment. Let's see the concept of stress. Stress involves stress are in a stress response. There are four stages of stress. The green area marks the healthy and constructive transient stress. The body mobilizes resources in an adaptive response to a perceived challenge or threat. Also call it stress. The red area marks the unhealthy destructive and persistent stress. The adaptive response works inadequately and the body is in a condition with a persistently elevated level of stress. Also call it distress. Stress is caused by the perception and evaluation of events that are challenging and threatening. Physiological arousal caused by anger, sadness, fear and depression. All these negative emotion are related to stress. Mental conflicts exists when we had to make a choice. It produces a tense situation and affect the health of individuals. Wishes and desires that cannot be reached can cause frustration which leads to aggressive behavior. There are three types of personality, A is impatient and hostile, B is relaxed and easygoing while C is sensitive and fearful person. Personality like type A and C are more likely to be stress. Cognitive appraisal is an individual's interpretation of events in their lives as harmful, threatening, or challenging which leads to overthinking and stress happens. Acculturative stress is a negative consequences that result from contact between two distinctive cultural groups where a person from different cultural group adapting to cultural changes. Socioeconomic status is a collective term for economic, occupational, and educational factors that influence an individual's relative position in society. The expectation in life is also a source of stress which affect most people. Expectations such as to perform well in studies, to complete work in the office, luxury living, happy couple and others. Post-traumatic stress disorder PTSD, is a mental health condition that's triggered by a terrifying event either experiencing it or witnessing it. Symptoms may include flashbacks, nightmares and severe anxiety, as well as uncontrollable thoughts about T. So what is the effect of stress on an individual's psychology? First, stress can decrease our immune system. Stress trigger the release of cortisol that suppress the immune system. Lymphocytes need secrete chemical antibodies to facilitate this immune response. Due to a long time, it becomes insensitive and our body becomes more susceptibility to infection. Stress also can contribute to heart disease. This is because stress anxiety increase the heart rate and blood pressure. This will lead to plaques rupturing and causing the blood clot to form. Finally, let's talk about the effects of stress on human behavior. The first effect is difficulty sleeping. A person finds it hard to relax due to worrying about social life or school. Lack of sleep can make a person more irritable and leads to poor performance in school. Another effect is changes in appetite. When you are feeling stressed, the body produces cortisol, the stress hormone. Cortisol makes one crave high fat foods because the brain thinks we need energy to treat stress. Stress can also shut down appetite. The adrenal gland produces epinephrine or adrenaline, which triggers the body's flight or fight response. This temporarily puts eating on hold. Let's us do some recap on the discussion we had about stress. First we talk about definition of stress, next we mention about concept of eustress and distress. We move forward with the 8 different factors that causes stress and lastly we talked about the effect of stress that brings harm to the body. That's, That's all from us. us. Thank, Thank you. you.